introduce the city of wind, dandelions, and freedom. Travelers under the protection of the Knights of Havonius? Finally! No more having to camp outdoors. But the city folk don't look too cheery. Everyone's been put out of place by storm terror recently. But everything will turn out fine as long as Jean's with us. Jean? Acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius, Jean, Defender of Mondstadt. With Jean on our side, surely even the vicious Storm Terror will be no match for us. Before I take you guys to the Knights of Favonius headquarters, I have a present for you, Traveler. It's a reward for helping me clear out that Hillitrol camp. H hey! Why doesn't Paimon get a reward? Uh, because this reward is useless to you, Paimon. But I'll treat you to a traditional Mondstadt delicacy. Sticky honey roast. Sticky honey roast! Come with me. We'll head to the city's, uh, high ground. This used to be a bustling street, but with so many storm terror attacks recently, the usual crowds are nowhere to be seen. Except for the local tavern near the city wall over there. They haven't been affected. If anything, their business is better than ever. So, oh, the present I want to give you is... a wind glider! Outriders use them to ride the wind, and the people of Mondstadt love using them too! I brought you here to give it to you, so you can experience it right away! Oh, you're really excited about these wind gliders, huh? Well, that's because the wind is the heart and soul of Mondstadt. Oh. Alrighty then, enough talk! Let's give it a whirl! It's easy to use, but you still need to pay attention to my instructions.
Huh? How are you staying afloat like this with just a wind glider? I'm preventing your fall with the power of a thousand winds. Now, concentrate. See yourself grasping the wind. Harness its energy. You've actually got the power to go up against the dragon. Are you a new ally? Or a new storm? Storm Terror is attacking Mondstadt itself! Kaya, Traveler, you've come at the right time! We must... Hold on, Amber. Are you perhaps forgetting to introduce us? Oh, right. This is Kaya, our cavalry captain. From afar, is that all we know of them? Uh, long story short... I see. Welcome to Mondstadt. Uh, though you haven't arrived at the best of times, I'm afraid. I understand the anguish of being separated from family. I'm not really sure why you're looking for the Animo God. Oh, but everyone has their secrets, right? <laughs> Relax. I won't press you for more. First and foremost, on behalf of the Knights of Favonius, I would like to extend our thanks to you for your help just now. Your fight to defend the city against the dragon just now was witnessed by no small number of citizens. The acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius is also very interested in meeting you, and formally invites you both to our headquarters. Knights of Favonius headquarters. Let's head in. Jean, what's the hurry? I thought we agreed to meet them here. There have been sightings of storm terror outside the city. Once we meet, we must... Relax. I'll lend a hand when the time comes. Jean, I've brought them. <sighs> and once it was over, I brought them straight here. Mondstadt welcomes you, Windborn Travelers. I am Jean, acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius. This is Lisa, our resident librarian. <laughs> oh, are you sweeties here to help us out? <laughs> You're both so adorable. Sadly, the timing is regrettable. 
Storm terror has caused quite a ruckus in the region since its recent resurgence. Simply put, Mondstadt's elemental sphere and ley lines are now akin to a yarn ball in the paws of a kitten. For a mage, it couldn't get much worse. My skin is one elemental particle away from a full-blown breakout. <sighs> if it weren't for this interference, the Knights of Favonius would have better ways to help you than just putting up missing person posters. We simply ask that you repose in Mondstadt while we help you seek out your sister. Paimon will help too. Good. In that case, we need a plan. With Storm Terror now directly attacking Mondstadt, we may have an opportunity to cut this problem off at the source. Lisa has revealed the sources of Storm Terror's power with her detection magic. Is that so? They're located in the abandoned Four Winds Temples. Storm Terror's ability to whip up these kinds of storms can be attributed to it drawing power from the temples. Our objective is to deal with three of the four temples. I trust everyone understands why we are only dealing with three. Paimon doesn't. Knights of Favonius, time is against us. The storm is rampant. There is no point in maintaining a defensive position. All right, we need to take initiative and act before the situation escalates. These garments echo the magnificent... From now on, the adventures will probably get more and more dangerous.
This is it. One of the deserted temples of the Four Winds. These temples have been left to waste for years now. The people of Mondstadt almost never come here. There's a chance there's a monster nest or hillatrol camp inside. <sighs> Even Storm Terror has given up on its own temple. Yes. I also find it hard to accept, but... Storm Terror was once one of the Four Winds. Huh? Wait! Did you just feel that? The wind here. Something's off. Let's go in and take a look. Be careful. The dragon's power is disturbing this area. You can use that console to open the door. Wow, I can see so far into the temple. barrels over there? Well, one shot should be able to blow them up!
Leave no stone unturned. something up there but how do we get across oh, isn't this a pyro monument if we hit it with a powerful pyro attack we might trigger it we've helped Jean out. In the past, we were at least able to defend the city and keep it safe. This, of course, is mostly thanks to Jean. But now with Storm Terror directly attacking the city itself, the winds change. So too should our tactics. It's what Lisa likes to say. Speaking of which, the four winds we were discussing earlier? If you want to learn more about our history, you can ask Lisa. I'm not saying I don't know our history. It's just, I mean, a librarian is supposed to be more knowledgeable than an outrider.
consolidated wind things. Let's head back to the Statue of the Seven at Windrise and offer it to the gods. Well, you should come with me. Paimon will tell you about... It's a Statue of the Seven! Let's make an offering and see if the gods respond. Feel the blessings of the seven? In Mondstadt, people call them animaculi. They can be fitted into the statue's eyes. Some stories say the statue's eyes originally had gems that were taken by swallows, but animaculi never had a physical form from the start. People with visions collect them to offer to the statues as blessings. Unlike others with powers, you don't have a vision. But then the rules of this world don't apply to you anyway, so... Keep offering animoculi and maybe you'll receive more blood. Board on the road.
You've arrived. Come closer. Can you smell that? Something must have happened in the temple. I imagine there will be slimes, hilly churls, and whatever is giving Storm Terror extra power. Oh yes, it is going to be lively in there indeed. As bustling as it may be, no, I can't imagine it will be dangerous at all. It's a pity that the Temple of the Wolf has been disturbed by such an atrocity. Let's head in. No one makes offerings to the Four Winds anymore. We need to clear out the temples. Mm-hmm. <sighs> 